Welcome back to Let's Play Octopath Traveler. We got some news. We got some news for the YouTube community. We got a new microphone. I should be sounding a little different. Hopefully a little better, but a little different. Uh, we changed from a, a Yeti microphone to now this is a uh, Shore microphone. This one's a, a like single channel microphone. So it's more for voice and not just for like audio in general. So I think it sounds a lot better. We've been messing around with the settings like all week. Um, but feel free to comment if you know you think it needs to be changed at all. But we've been messing with the settings all week and we finally got it somewhere where we think we like it. Um, but yeah, let me know. Let me know if you know microphone things and have any suggestions. Uh, what else? I've had a crazy week of Hollow Month. It's been amazing. We've played some crazy games. Been playing some Liza P. Been playing some Bioshock, one of my favorite games of all time. I could yap for hours about Bioshock. Um, what else did we play this week? Played more Vampire Survivors. Fought a crazy secret boss that was cool. Um, oh, we played Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses, which is a highly yeah. requested game. People have wanted me to play that ever since I started playing Forbidden Memories. And it's wild. That game is wild. Uh, I, I knew it was going to be wild, because that's what everyone told me, but... Wait, this guy's name is Sweet Tooth? Wait. Of Twisted Metal fame? I've traveled all the way from Still Snow in the far north in search of sweet delicacies to delight my tongue. He's a literal Sweet Tooth. I thought that perhaps the dates which they sell in this region would be a good addition to my kitchen. I had heard they impart a delightful sweetness to any meal. But the dates I've tasted here, hmm, they have an undeniable aftertaste that quite ruins the effect. Somewhere in this wide world, there must be a perfect sweetener capable of pleasing the tongue with such flaw without such flaws. And I have it. Huh. Oh, something new to try. I'll be happy to do that. Thank you. Hmm, this does indeed have promise. It is a clean, pure sweetness indeed. But why? It looks like nothing more than a perfectly common beat. What's that? You say this beat is from my homeland of Still Snow? Ah, oh, that's it. It must be the cold. The cold must cause the beets to develop more sugars as they grow. With this kind of sugar content, I think that I could simply squeeze the roots to extract a sweet juice. Ha ha ha, sometimes you can travel the whole world only to find that the thing you sought was lying right outside your front door the entire time. What kind of gourmand am I overlooking the perfect sweet right before me? Clearly, there is still much for me to learn. I am tempted to start my journey anew, but this time with my eyes properly open to the natural bounty surrounding me. Thank you for giving me a taste of a whole new world. A whole new world. Gourmet's charm. What that? It's not a... Oh, there it is. Slightly reduces ice and wind damage. I feel like that'll be good for, like, one specific boss, and that's it. How's it going, Joe? How's it going, Xerix? How's it going, Retro? Now that I've helped you, allow me to steal from you. Whoa, he has really strong stuff. I'll try it once. Oh. Man, everyone's really hard to do stuff with. But I think it's because it's a higher level area. How's it going here, Din? Mm 
Oh, they got some stuff. Trickster's Dagger. Gives a ton of evasion but loses speed, which is not what we want. Skybreaker. A sword would be good for Therion. It's actually not bad for Ulbrich either. That accuracy kind of sucks though. did. We hit our first grand prize. So we're going to be playing Super Metroid starting on Monday. And we'll also have an extra technically two days of Hollow Month. We're going to extend Hollow Month all the way to the following Monday after October ends. And we have a new grand prize if we hit it will be another day of Hollow Month, as well as a hard mod of Forbidden Memories. Which, uh... Wait. Um... Yeah, you know... <laughs> it's kinda... It sounds redundant, but... It's actually a hard mod... of Forbidden Memories. Making forbidden memories even more difficult. I uh, I gave it an attempt off stream just to test it, and with uh, with um. That's really good for him. 15 card drop. It was still a struggle. Like, it was a struggle to beat anybody with 15 card drop on. So, if we play it, I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing. If I'm gonna do, like, maybe 5 card drop or something. But, uh... Yeah, it's wild. It is a wild mod. It's really cool, too, because it doesn't just give people hard cards or anything. It changes the AI to work more like we would play instead of... Because, like, the thing with Forbidden Memories is everyone has better cards than you, but the one thing that you have over them is you can, like, learn how the AI works and then kind of take advantage uh, but in this mod, you can't do that, because the AI is too smart. So it takes away, like, the one thing that you can actually take advantage of in the game. Dreis, thank you so much for the Prime. I tried drag racing the other day. Running in heels is murder. Wow. I guess we'll do Ulbrich first, since he's uh, lower level. Hit the laugh track. The story so far. And so, Ulbrich triumphed in the arena at Victor's Hollow, defeating Gustav the Black Knight in an epic struggle. Gustav shared the story of Earhart's past, a tale of a home, long, home lost while a king sat idly by, and how Earhart swore vengeance upon the crown. Did you wield your blade only for revenge, old friend? What do you fight for now that the thirst has been sated? Have you too lost your purpose? Ulbrich sought answers to these questions. Answers he knew would only come only after a clash of blades. And so did Ulbrich arrive in Wellspring. Earhart somewhere in this town. Best start asking around. 
Is this our first chapter three? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. How's it going, Super Fuzz? We did indeed. What do you think of it? Well met. Excuse me, do you know of a man named Earhart? I. Tough bastard with the sword, you mean? I. Everyone here does. He defended our town from those god's dang lizard men when he seemed it seemed they had like they'd overrun us all. Some folk here say he's our savior, and he won't ye won't find me saying otherwise. What? Do you have any idea where I might find him? Hmm. Fred I couldn't say, don't see him around much, truth be told. I think Is that so? In any event, thanks for the help. I like the idea of uh, going on this long journey. How's it going, fire? Uh, going on this long journey and learning, like, of the treachery of this guy. And then, like, getting to a town and everyone in the town thinks he's, like, a great guy. It, like, gives you a really weird... It's, like, a really weird situation. It's like, oh, what do we do? How's it going, Mav? Hey. Can you help me? I'm looking for a man who goes by the name Earhart. <laughs> Earhart, you'd be looking for the swordsman then. So you know the man. Aye, and know him well. We all do, for the debt we owe him. <laughs> debt? I see this town is plagued by dang lizardmen. Time was, they were happy to skulk about in their lairs and leave us well enough alone, but then they took to setting upon travelers heading to and fro. A fine mess it was, so Earhart came along and started taking care of them for us. Well. So where is he now? Hmm. That I couldn't tell you. Don't see him much about this on the streets. Gramercy. I see. Thank you for your help. What did he say? Gramercy? Oh man, feel better, Mav. Excuse me, milady. Do you know a man called Earhart? I'm pretty sure. Earhart, I suppose you're talking about the swordsman. Just so. That would be him. A while ago, he saved one of the trade caravans from the lizard men, then escorted it here to town safe and sound. He's a bit of a hero around these parts, though I haven't set my eyes on him myself, mind. Whoa. Do you have any idea where I might find him? Hmm. Couldn't say. He don't show up in town much. Thank you. That is unfortunate. Thank you nonetheless. Three people saying the same exact thing. Maybe they were told to say that. Hold it! You there, halt! If you don't mind, sir, we've got a few questions. Hmm? What about? Are you the ones been wandering around town bothering people with questions about Lord Earhart? I see. I've been asking after him, yes. Hmm. Care to tell us why? Ah, <sighs> <laughs> uh, this again. What do I tell them? I've no inclination to lie, but... From what the townsfolk tell me, Earhart's a veritable local legend here. What would they think if they knew I harbored a grudge against their hero and savior? Yes, yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like you can't really, uh... Oh? Tell them. Can I got your tongue, sir? We can go somewhere private if you like. As you wish. Yes, that might be for the best. 
<sighs> what life do you live here, Earhart? Have you found a new purpose here? Have you found a cause for which you to wield your sword? And if you have, might I still find the same? Hmm. Now slow down there. Let me get this straight. Your name is Ulbrich Eisenberg, known as the Unbending Blade of Hornberg, a realm that fell some, some years ago. And you're here to seek out Lord Earhart, who once was once a fellow knight in that self-same realm? Just so. That's the sum of it. <laughs> well, fair befall you, sir. Tis an honor to welcome a former brother-in-arms of his lordship here to Wellspring. You should have said that straight away, sir. We'd not have done you the discourtesy of dragging you into this dingy room. The truth is... You might not like the rest of my tale so much. Must this pass between Earhart and I since the days we fought side by side. Things that are best not shared out on the streets where the townspeople might hear. How's it going, Frosty? Indeed. No, we're doing uh, Octopath in the morning. Friday mornings are always our Let's Play day. And then later we're going to be playing Final Fantasy IX Scavenger mod. Mod we started last week. Mod that uh, I and Suna mods created, mostly him. But me and him worked on a mod called Scavenger for Final Fantasy VII a long time ago. And then he just recently approached me about making a Final Fantasy IX Scavenger mod. And so we are beta testing it to see if it's even possible to get through the game on Scavenger. Um, and then it's going to be released to the public. So it's really exciting. We're all kind of working together as a community to uh, try to see how possible the game is in scavenger form and what we can do to improve the mod. And yet I trust you'll not be averse to sharing them with us, Sol Sir Ulbrich. Oh. Captain Bale, sir! Leave us. I would speak to Sir Ulbrich in private. With your permission, Sir Ulbrich. I see. Of course. I have questions of my own. Hmm. I'm sure you do. Uh-oh. Then I'll go and uh, inspect the men, sir. There you go. Inspect those men. In fact... You should know that I am the reason that Lord Earhart is fighting for the town. Mm -hmm. Is that so? Mm -hmm. We met by chance. I suppose you heard the stories about the lizard men. I see. I heard there have been attacks on travelers outside the town. Verily. A caravan was ambushed, but fortune smiled upon the merchants that day. Lord Earhart fought off the assailants and escorted the caravan safely to town. When the man told me his name, I recognized it immediately. I asked him if he was once a knight of Hornburg. He did not deny it. And so... It was clear his journey had no destination, so I invited him to stay with us. At first he hesitated, but in the end he agreed to stay and lend us his aid. In so much as I can, were his exact words. I see and he's been helping you fend off the lizard men threat ever since. Yes. Indeed, the townsfolk are most grateful for his services. I suppose you wish to know where he is. How's it going, Yaga? How's it going, Big? You are former comrades, the two greatest knights of your fallen realm. I see no reason to hide the truth from you. Do you? Yes, please hide the truth from me. How's it going, Orange? From the look of it, this town needs Earhart. But I've come prepared to spill his blood if necessary. Should I confront him now? Is this the right time? <sighs> Have you found a new cause, Earhart? Do you now wield your blade for a noble cause? A man of the sword must have something to protect. Is this the answer you found? I have to meet the man. I must know. I must know if he's found purpose, the likes of which he took from me. And if so, can he give me back what I've lost? 
<sighs> no. No reason at all. Tell me where he is. In fact... Very well. Lord Earhart is... News. Captain, sir, it's the lizard men, a whole horde of them. What's that? Where, gods dang it? Oh. Heading straight for the town, sir, and in greater numbers than we've ever seen. Curses. What of Lord Earhart? Mm. He's gone to the cave, sir, fighting single-handed, last we heard. Hmm. God's teeth, we can only pray for his safety. In the meantime, gather every able-bodied man you can mar you can and march out to meet the horde. The town comes first. Once we've turned back the assault, we can go to Earhart's aid. Present. Sir! Well. Would you let me help? Yes. Let you? We would welcome it. We'll need every sword we can muster. Prepare for battle. We march immediately. Present. Sir! May the gods guard your... Sir Ulbrich, follow when you are ready. Let us rendezvous on the lakeside trail. As you wish. <laughs> Protecting the town comes first. There'll be time enough later to find Earhart. An oasis, the fawn of life in the arid waste of the desert. Just so. Just so, this one oasis provides water for all the towns here about. This does not fit the music we're listening to. Is that so? Yes, yeah, some villages have small wells, but nothing to match the amount of water that flows forth here. Civilization has flourished in this place since ancient times. It really is something of a miracle, this oasis, a blessing from the gods. Then I must do what I can to save this civilization. Are you with me? Of course, you will have my utmost support. Why, with your brawn and my brains, I'm fain to say we shall be unstoppable. I pray it be so. Yo, Nomadic! Thank you for the prime. Oh, I gotta go north? This is... this ain't right. Oh, I guess it is. Do, do, do. I'm gonna wait. Sir Ulbrich, we are ready when you are. Oh, I'm ready. Ready. Good, we must first secure this area and see that no harm befalls the town. Curses. They're here already to arms, men. Let's see. You're mine now. I am ready. The peacock the strut. Peacock strut. <laughs> Gotta start it off with a peacock strut. Over here, victory shall be mine. Let's hit him with another one of these. You're mine now. Whoa. I'm ready. The lion dance. The lion dance. Uh, I'll just do this now. A tempest of ice shall rain. Now then. Ready. The Panther Dance. The Panther Dance. Out of my way. All right. Are you time to steal See ya. the show? <laughs> and that's that. 
so strong. God, is there no end to them? Watch your backs. Yo, Yaga, thank you for the prime. Thank you, thank you. Sand Lizard King. I appreciate it. Really. Take aim, he missed half. Time to steal the show. Now, what next? A tempest of ice shall rain. How about you? With each battle, I grow stronger. Yeah, all the music. All the music in this game is so good. We have stopped them for the nonce. Uh oh. Do you think Lord Earhart's safe, sir? <laughs> if any man could survive alone, it would be him. And yet, against these numbers, I would send him reinforcements, but. Mm. Let me go. I could double his chances. Or, you know, stab him in the back. In your debt. Then go quickly, sir Ulbrich, and thank you. <sighs> The one that ended with the fall of Hornburg. It's another world to me now. I can scarce remember the man that I was then. Did hatred drive my sword arm? Did fear? No, it was for a higher purpose. I swear on Upon this sword, I swear to defend this town and its people. Your words give us courage, sir. Ugh. Men, form lines on this position. Let not one of those slavering fiends pass. Sir. sir. May the gods guard your blade. I see. And yours. Alright, hold on. Let me start this travel banter. Let me go turn down the temperature. It's really hot in here. The gentleman in charge of the town's guard is quite something. How so? I mean, he's a good man, gallant and brave. I did not think him your type. Most women appreciate a man of courage, someone you can trust in a crisis. If he is what you say he is, he shall be a good ally. I do say, after all, I figured out that you're good and gallant too. See, I'm good at reading men. In fact, I know you're the most trustworthy of all, and that's why I, have tr I travel with you. Aw, you're blushing. A vexing woman. 
Wow, Primrose, you really... You, you figured out on your own that Ulbrich is a, a tough and gallant man. You're so good at reading men. I'm so impressed with your abilities to read men. chest I want. Come on, I've got better things to do. Vampire bats. You're mine now. Ice is uh, really good. The battle is truly joined. Everybody is very weak to ice. I will cut you down. How's it going, Dime? May the sacred shine forth. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, really? I only got four SP. Even with all that damage. Probably because he was almost dead. Not bad. A possible. This game's music is a is an interesting mix of like It, it feels like old style RPG music, but with like orchestral instruments, which I guess is also kind of old style RPG, but. Come on, I've got better things to do. discovered better Twitch TV. Happens to the best of us. At some point, everyone just no. realizes why, why are there so many jokes that I'm not understanding. And then they realize. I will admit it took me a unfortunate amount of time to finally realize that it was a thing when I first started watching Twitch. Well, when I first started watching Twitch, it wasn't a thing, but when it became a thing, it took me quite a while to catch on. for this soundtrack to be like really upbeat during battles and really like somber during scenes. It has a really great emotional range. Yeah, I've noticed that. I've noticed that more and more. Um, nice. Wow. 
it's just money. I've noticed that more and more now, especially with like mu the music industry too, where like people I grew up with are now, now their protégés are oh, becoming popular. Out of my way. It's kind of weird. Now. Victory shall be mine. Something doesn't feel... Something doesn't feel right. Why am I so old? That was silly. He already had a buff. The battle is truly Holy damage, Ulbrick. No, you don't. Cyrus. I am ready. Whack. <laughs> Time to steal the show. Don't start things you can't finish. Good day, fellow procrastinator. Come on, guys. You aren't procrastinating, are you? You're getting stuff done today. Right? I tell you what, the older the older I get, the more getting housework done feels like the best thing ever. Like doing it is still, eh. I don't want to do this. I appreciate it. Really. But once it's done, you know, like back in college, I remember I used to like clean the dishes, and by clean the dishes, I mean like clean the one dish that I used that day, so that I could use it the next day. <laughs> and even then. Even though I was only doing like one dish and I was going to use that specific dish the next day, I would still be like, eh, what's the point? I'm just going to dirty this again. Why am I doing this? You know. It, it felt a lot more futile back then. But now, maybe it's just because like... Or people, you know, I live with people that also benefit from it, but it feels much more rewarding. The lion This will go goes. My turn. No, you don't. I really wanted to try to steal SP with Cyrus, but he doesn't do enough damage to get SP back. I need to, like, break somebody and then do it, but by the time I break them, they're just going to be dead. The Panther down. <laughs> you took, you took the sink full of dishes and put them on their beds. Wow, that's savage. I mean, it probably did get the point across. And that's that.
That's that's pretty brutal though. <laughs> We're still friends, that's good. Yeah, I um When I was first becoming a father, I dreamt of doing those kind of things to my kids, you know? I guess dreamt is the wrong word. Dreamt makes it sound like I'm, like, eager to do it or something. But, like, you know, if you ever watch this show, like, My Wife and Kids... That show is, like, hilarious because the dad's always coming up with, like, ridiculous ways to show his kids how to act. But, like, I always thought that that would be more, you know, uh, successful than just telling them. But, like, yeah, you don't want to go that far. <laughs> so, I always thought of, like, a middle ground. Something like that. Something like putting the dishes on their bed. Just to be like, look, you know. Um, so, like, somewhere in the middle between the insanity of that show and, you know just telling them how to be. But now that I am a father, uh, a two-time father, two-time, uh, it doesn't feel e as e like, I don't know. It, it seems like it would just cause more problems than it would be worth, you know? Two-time world champ. But I don't know. They're not really old enough yet anyways. So, like... If I were to do something like that to them now, they would just be like, Dad, why'd you do that? I think it would be more better, like, efficient to do it when they're, like, teenagers. But, yeah. No, I've thought, I've thought about it many times, like... Depending on what it is, how could I get it across to them without also being, like, a terrible parent? <laughs> You know, I feel like that is a great example because you're friends, right? So, like, it's not... It's more of, like... When you when you do that, something like that to a friend, especially if they're a good friend who's, like, mutually understanding, they see it as, like, okay, this got so bad that they had to show me in this way, and it kind of humbles them. I don't think it's is effective with kids. Like, kids don't see that. Kids just see it as, like, borderline abuse. They're like, why, you know, you're, you're my dad. You're supposed to protect me. You're supposed to be the bigger man. You're supposed to, you know, the, you're, like, going down to my level, you know? Which, to be honest, is selfish of them to think that. But, like, that's what they're going to think. They're going to they're gonna think, like, you're, you're punching down at me, dad, you know? So, yeah. The show, the show makes it seem like, because I think like, the the reason it works in the show, a is because it's a show, but b, because like, the family in that show, kind of act like friends act, you know, they have like these family meetings where everyone's like an equal, and the way they kind of interact in the show, they interact more like friends than they do like family members. So when they do some, when the dad does something ridiculous like that, it kind of fits the narrative. But most families aren't like that, and so yeah, it would more feel like just punching. Now the, the older I get, the more I realize that doing something like that would probably be a bad idea. But who knows? Maybe there's, maybe I get a chance. Maybe my teenagers, you know, maybe my kids become teenagers and we're like really close. And then they do something that's, like, really upsetting. And I find, like, this perfect way to, like, show them how it upset me without also being, like, an abusive parent. And then they end up learning, like, a great lesson. Like, that would be really cool. But I realize that, like, trying to do that as a parental, like, as a thing you would normally do as a parent is, like, no, it's not good. <laughs> Your kids will just hate you at that point. Yeah, I'm gonna send my kid to go live in the garbage. Ulrich, 
Jesus, what in the name of the gods are you doing here? Let's deal with these first. We can talk later. Fair enough. Oh, that was easy. Ulrich. Of all the... How long has it been, Earhart? Long. Too long. I, I would turn around if I were you. What if he stabs you? Uh, I need to... <laughs> that sounded close. Didn't think they'd venture this far. Those are the leaders of the Horde. If we slay them, the rest will be easy to disperse. I'll take the right. Then the left is mine. Be careful. These beasts are more cunning than they look. When they fight together, they are stronger than the sum of their parts. Try not to get yourself killed. So I can kill you. Likewise, Ulberic. Let's follow him. Oh, they're spooky. There. This must be one of the leaders. You stand to the fore as if to shield your minions, even you have something even you have something to protect. Yet I, I have no one. So Berg. I'm going to keep training while you're away. Then when you come back, I'll be even stronger. And then, then maybe I could. Fare thee well. When you've done whatever it is you must do, pray come back and visit us. No matter how far your journey takes you, you'll always have a home here. Now then. Whatever happens, just give it everything you've got. We'll find out soon enough if that'll suffice. Ugh. Men, form lines on this position. Let not one of those slavering fiends pass. May the gods guide your blade. That song no. is so good. No, I do have something to protect. As a knight, I could not protect my king, my realm, or my countrymen. But now, as a wandering sword, I have found many who need my strength. Knight of the realm or common vagabond, I am still a blade. No more and no less, I can protect the weak, the innocent, the kind. Prepare yourself. I shall not fail them this time. I shall be victorious. I will not fail. So good. I am ready. I was going to knock. Just found out that my daughter has passed her entrance exam into high school next year, so I'm on cloud nine right now. Yo, that's so sick, dude. My biggest hope is that when my son gets older, he'll see just how much I love him in spite of not being able to spend as much time with them as I would want. Yeah, I I tell you what, yeah, that's not just a single parent problem. That's for sure. <laughs> I think it's, I mean, I, I couldn't imagine single parent that's got to feel like twice as, twice as prevalent, but 
it's a it's a dual parent problem as well, you know, especially if both parents work. I agree, we're all in this together. Look at the boss's weapon, yeah. Oh, the sprite work in this game is just unreal, man. It's insane. It's also a tri-parent problem, but not a quad-parent problem. Screw quad parents. They got it easy. <laughs> quad parents, they think they got problems. Uh, let's see. You know what? Beautiful. No. I'm ready. I need to get Ulbrich like a counter. Doesn't, uh, who has a counter? I think Dancer has a counter. Maybe I should turn Ulbrich into a Dancer. Then he could, like, incite and then counter. The Panther Dance. The Panther Dance. Well, what next? I think they're all weak against Lightning. They're probably weak against Ice. Dagger. Oh my god, Therion, you're so good. Therion, you're so good. Watch my face dance. Let's see. Oh, he's weak against dagger. Could probably. Now I'm gonna strut. The peacock strut. The peacock strut. Out of my way. See, Yaga, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Really. How about you? Boom. Watch my face dance. Out of my way. Let's see. Mm 
Let's just hit him with a regular hit. Oh, he didn't do the double hit. <laughs> I can't help it. It's the best move. How do you not peacock strut? Bring about a miracle of healing. It's like all my characters are Pokemon. I am ready. Well, actually, just Primrose. No one else really says the name of their move. Primrose is a Pokemon confirmed. Let's see. Can I break him in this many moves? I think I can. The Panther Dance. The Panther Dance. No. Do, do. I see. Yeah, he's not gonna have a good time. This dude's not having a good time. SP does so much damage. The lion, the lion dance. The battle. Watch my blade dance. I'm really surprised he hasn't summoned more boys. This guy's kind of just too slow. Too slow to deal with us. We can just break him before he can do anything. I see. I am ready. Steel SP, it does more damage. I appreciate it. Than a regular attack. And it gives me the SP back. I'm ready. You already know what it is. Peacock strut. The peacock strut. I am ready. Lion dance. The lion dance. Out of my way. I appreciate it. Really. Oh my god, so much damage. Don't start things you can't finish. That was a chapter three boss, huh? <laughs> 